our life group was looking for a service project to do. And we decided we wanted to have a personal connection through our service project rather than maybe a weekend or a, a special night. We wanted to establish a relationship with some folks who needed help. In scripture we find we're called to something bigger. And our church has called us to something bigger and our lives didn't quite reflect that. So we um, were watching a documentary on TV about refugee resettlement. And it really touched my heart and seemed like something that might match up with skills that I had and that Mamie had. But uh, I didn't know how to get involved. So I did some research, found out that Lutheran Social Services had done refugee resettlement in uh, Wisconsin for over 30 years. Gave them a call. The woman was like, are you kidding me? I'm going into a meeting right now to decide if we're going to open an office in Madison to welcome in a new um, population of Bhutanese refugees and we think Madison would be a good fit and I'm walking into that meeting right now. Thank you for calling me today and I'll let you know how it goes. Well for me hearing that, that was just a wide open door um, and it really confirmed for me that um, uh, God had his hand in this and it just, um, I've experienced it a little bit before where there's moments in your life where you just know that it, it can't fail. That um, what you're about to encounter and what you're about to do is um, a God-given job, an opportunity, an experience, and a gift. When the first family came, my mom was dying of cancer. His job was cutting back 50% and um, just a really rough time for us. In fact, my mom died the day after they came. But our life group was great. Every step of the way, new people have come along to fill a void whether it's helping teach Bible class, whether it's helping tutor the kids or read with the kids, um, whether it's providing extra driving to folks to get the job interviews and, and to their job for the first time. Uh, every step of the way we've had people uh, help and that's been fantastic. The family asked, if we um, break anything in this house, if my children break a plate or anything, how much is it gonna cost us? And Jason got to tell <laughs> tell them like everything here is yours everything here is it it's completely yours it's a gift and it, our, our church everyone at our church collected this and it's yours and, and there's no strings attached and to see that reaction they're pretty subdued in their reactions anyway but Sancho was like wow that was a turning point in that relationship with the family yeah. because up until that point it was a few days before we had that conversation and up to that point um, I was a little concerned because there was quite a bit of distance I felt between um, me and the family and LSS and I wasn't sure if this was how it would be from here on out, but they were being reserved, they were being cautious, they felt that they were um, there maybe temporarily, that they had some obligation to please, to please us and to meet some expectations that we had. I'm going to be real honest with you. I moved to the country to get away from people. <laughs> that was my goal. But God obviously had a different plan in mind and, and did not allow that to happen. And now I'm around more people on a regular basis than I've ever been in my whole life with stronger friendships and stronger relationships that um, are a greater gift to me than um, anything else. It was in the stepping out and stepping in faith that God just kept bringing in more opportunities. Um, so he's, he's given us a great responsibility, but through that comes such a blessing. I can't imagine my life now without the Bhutanese. I can't imagine not having every single one of them in our life. And um, I mean, I think now of their graduations and their weddings coming up and um, just life events that happen with a family, because we're, we're family. I guess for me, that was a real gradual process to realize how um, involved and committed I had actually become. I don't know that there was one point where I stepped back and said, what in the world just happened here? Um, it was really a gradual process. Um, I think I knew there was a change in the relationship with the first family when we were having dinner at a friend's house with them and we had a translator and um, the father said, um, through translation, um, why do you treat us as, as though we're family when you don't even know us? 
And at that point, we could share with them, well, um, we serve a great God who has blessed us richly and calls us to share that with others. And so we want to share that um, love with you. And based on his response, I could tell that we were entering into a whole new, um, whole new world with that relationship. Thank you.